Well, it's Tuesday. It's time for Ask the Guru. Okay, we got a good question today. And we're here at cateringguru.com, so don't forget where we're coming from. Now, the concept today is, what is this about order takers versus salespeople? I'm going to get to that in a minute. But first, I just got to tell you something I got this week. It's kind of corny, kind of silly, but you're going to like it, okay? It's hard to explain verbally. I was talking to a, a barbecue caterer from down south, North Carolina to be exact, and he was telling me one of his marketing ideas, and, and he pays with checks. He doesn't use credit cards, so when he buys 200 pounds of this and 600 pounds of that or seven flats of that and some paper supplies, he always pays his invoice with a check. And what he does he has little labels made up that he does on his computer. And I guess it's legal. He, on the front of a check, you can put anything you want, your picture, uh, the Gettysburg address, if you wanted to. It's perfectly, it's the back of the check you can't put anything on. So here's what he does. He takes these little stickers. Are you ready for this? Because I don't know if you're going to find this as funny as I did. He has a sticker, for example, he puts on some of the checks he's paying his purveyors with and says, who's doing your Christmas party? Now just think about that. Or, who's doing your picnic? How come we haven't received any catering orders from you lately? I find that fantastically exciting. Why? My guy, he's paying $200,000 a year to a meat guy. Shouldn't the meat guy give him at least a little bit of business or a, a, a wedding from some friend of his? Anyway, that's what I wanted to start with. I hope you find that as funny as I find it. So order takers versus salespeople. It's really quite simple. We need them both. I know you didn't think I'd say that. Order takers are just as important as salespeople. For example, if I'm a, a typical catering company that has an, an upscale division, I do weddings, bar mitzvahs, things of that sort, and I also have um, a division that does drop off catering, you know, box lunches, cold buffets. You know, where do I need a salesperson? Where do I need an order taker? Well, intellectually, a person who doesn't have this, this great capacity for being a whiz bang salesperson can be used very nicely in that division that does the simple orders every day, the 15 box lunches, the 35 cold buffets, and so forth, coffee in the morning. Whereas a salesperson needs to be focused on the larger volume events. Now, a salesperson can be wearing two hats and be an order taker, but an order taker usually can't be a salesperson right away. What divides them? Well, this may be you know, debatable in your mind. Maybe you want to discuss it with your staff today. But it all it comes down to is fear. That's it. You see, a salesperson has to look at a shopper or talk to a shopper and ask questions that sometimes don't seem correct. Uh, they make statements like, so Mrs. Smith, uh, for our wedding on the 15th of July, we have a wide variety of solutions for you that would run from, well, about $65 per guest to about $125 per guest. Is that the range that you were looking for? You see, some people can't say that to a total stranger. So a salesperson has less fear and just sort of dives into things, let alone a close. Um, uh, many people have great difficulty end of a presentation besides you know, just waiting for somebody to say, oh, I want to buy it. That's not going to happen too often. So they finish a presentation and the salesman, unlike an order taker, can look at the client and say, or the prospect, I should say, and say, so Mr. and Mrs. Smith, let me tell you how it works here. Our deposit policy is rather simple. We do require a thousand dollar deposit. Most of our clients give us a credit card or a check. For your event on the 15th of July, what would you like to use today? A credit card or a check? Now, the hard word was today. Most order takers have great difficulty with the concept of asking people tough money questions like that. Salespeople, on the other hand, I don't know, they just have that little extra spark, uh, spark and they just go forward. So give some thought to the difference between it, but don't rule out having order takers in your company. Now, I'm going to say this, it may not be proper, but order takers make less money than salespeople, whether on a base or whether they're on a commission and a base or a commission only. That's the way it should be. It's harder to be a salesperson. Order takers can become salespeople with time, with training, and with the ability to just get over their fears. I don't know if that makes sense to you. Well, I've given you some controversial ideas today. And I hope I always do that. I don't think you should just take me for my word every single time. Disagree with me. We have a comment section just below. Put down your thoughts. Agree, disagree, whatever you want to do. Get the conversation going. Get the education going because that's what this site's all about. It's not what I only think. It's what you think. 
you have to share with me. So feel free to that. Now, I'm coming back next Tuesday with some more questions. I, I did receive some people who sent me some questions, so that's kind of cool. There's still room for more. So, you know, either put your question down below in the comment section or give me an email. I haven't had one call yet. Nobody's called me. Come on now, give me a call so I can talk to you. That's what I like to do. You know, I'm semi-retired now, so therefore I have a little time on my hands. It's great talking with you and meeting you like this every Tuesday, and I hope you stick with us. Tell your friends, relatives, and anybody else you want to do. We'll see you soon. Thanks much.